Hello, it's Lisa Francis Judd from Down Under Australia. It's been quite a long time since I've made any YouTube videos and a lot of things have happened in my life in the last five years. For those of you who know me and subscribe to this channel, you would probably know that five years ago, my only son got brain cancer. That's got to be the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my whole entire life. There's no grief like the grief of a parent with a child with a terminal illness. Um, James is still here. That's the amazing thing. James is still here and right now he's in remission with no visible sign of the cancer. <laughs> Doctors said that would never ever happen and they were wrong. So he's getting on with his life, which is just amazing. And I'm very proud of him. And he just lives every day in the moment, which is something that we probably all should do. And if you met him right now, you'd never even realize that he was sick, except for the scar on his head. Um, so that's a blessing in a terrible situation. The other thing that happened a few years back to me was I got trapped in my house i'm sitting in my studio right now and in i was basically in this room before it all started and i was painting and anyway a fire happened short story lisa short story keep it short <laughs> um the short story is that it was just a puff of smoke over the hill many many kilometers away and within about 10 minutes i was fighting for my life and it was um, smashing in my windows and getting in my house and nobody could get to me and I couldn't get out. There was just no way. It was, you know, my neighbor's houses burnt to the ground. Many, many of them actually burnt to the ground next to me and across the road and around behind. <laughs> um, so with those sort of things that have happened, you may imagine it's um, been a bit emotionally traumatic. Yeah. Um, I developed chronic depression and that's, a challenge it's still a challenge today I'm managing it all a lot better than I did um, and I got post-traumatic stress disorder from what happened to me during the fire when I thought I was going to die in this house so that was another layer on on all of the difficulties that um, I was facing and in the challenges that were happening in my family and in my life I have written about what happened the journey as a mother with my son and the fire and how it changed my life you know it changed my life in good ways too which is one of the messages i want to say not that i wish any of it ha had happened obviously but sometimes when really bad stuff happens it changes you and it changes your thinking and it changes what you see as important in life and it changes or it can change your whole direction and you can go up or you can go down that's how I look at it I chose to go up even though I was down for a long time and I'm not going to deny that and I built a business which is called quirky happy art or quirky happy.com look for quirky happy.com when James got sick, I gave up all corporate stuff that I was doing before that and I just went full time into the art and I painted like a demon for a long, long time and it became business and then that became a, 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 like a, a company um, and now I actually help other talented Aussie artists as well and I license their work and we print them on our product range which we've created ourselves. So if you like really upbeat, fun, vibrant, happy, um, art that makes you smile, uh, then go check out quirkyhappy.com. So I wrote about my journey through all these difficulties, through the depression, the post-traumatic, what happened to James, what happened in the fire, as a chapter in a new book that's coming out on the 25th of June, US time and 26th of June, Aussie time. It's called Women on a Mission. And it's all about stories of trials, tribulations, and triumphs. So lots of women from all over the world telling their really personal stories of what they went through with major life challenges, very, very diverse types of major life challenges, 
and how it changed them, how it changed their world, how it changed their feelings, their beliefs and what they do in life now. So it really is, um, besides, yes, there'll be lots of sad stories in there and challenging stories to read and you'll go, oh my God. But look at what the women have done with the situations that they were handed in life. Who knows what life's gonna throw at you. And sometimes it throws you some really big curveballs. But I've done something positive with it and I'm still doing something positive with it. And every day I still work to, main, to maintain myself so I don't fall back into that depressive situation, that I don't let the post-traumatic make me feel like I can't move forward because those things don't just go away. You have to learn to manage them, you have to learn to live with them and you move through them and you learn the triggers and you learn the things to pick yourself up on when you can see you're going down. And if you can do that, you can move through it and you can get on with your life and do positive things with your life. So that's what I have chosen to do. That's what I, my aim is. Some days are great, some days are not so great, but most days are really good now. So, you know, James is doing well. So at the moment, I don't have to worry so much about my boy and uh, the business is going well and I'm doing what I love to do, which is help people through art and self-expression, creativity. Um, I hope to inspire you or people you know with my story and how, you know, I got through that because, you know, I just want you to know that you can get through anything. You can, um, and if you read these stories and see how these women created something great out of something that was seemingly tragic or, 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 or challenging, then um, if they can do it, you can do it. So I really hope you'll pick up a copy of the book. Um, it, as I said, it's coming out on the 25th of June in, in the US and 26th here in Oz. It'll be on Amazon to start with as a downloadable. And it, I think they're putting it on for a very good price. Uh, I don't have a link for that yet, but I will get it to you. Um, the book will look like this. And as soon as the book is actually up on Amazon and, and ready to purchase, um, I'll put a vid up and let you know that it's available. It will be also published as a hard copy. And I'm really excited that it'll be a, a proper published book as a, as a hard copy as well. This is my very first time in publishing world. So um, I've written lots of articles and things for magazines and newspapers and all that before in, in a former life, so to speak. In, but um, I, I haven't written for a book before. So this is the first time I'm actually part of a book and I'm very excited about that. It's quite um, cathartic to tell your story. You know, I'll talk about it. If, I, if, if the story can help other people going through a similar situation, or it might be a totally different thing that's, that's given them the chronic depression or post-traumatic stress disorder, or both like me. But just to know that you're not alone and there really are other people out there who go through this too, because when you're going through it, you do feel like you're the only person in the world, you do. You also feel like nobody wants to listen to you anymore. And I know that one. And the thing is, there, there are people who will listen. There are people who do understand. I understand because I've lived it. I want to end on a happy note, which is I'm really glad to be back on YouTube and talking to you guys. And there'll be lots more art. There'll be lots more stuff about the book. And um, I hope to just keep on keeping on and, you know, shine your, your light bright. Believe in yourself. Know that you are brave. That's my catchphrase at the moment. I am brave and so are you. So I will see you next time. Bye.